hey guys doing another video and this one I want to show specifically the bouncing functions and how dope I thought this was again I'm coming from I'm finna say studio one I'm coming from logic pro X into studio one three and some of the immediate things that I've noticed when bouncing down a track was okay everything is basic from where you can save you know you can save you know pay attention to the way you save your tracks too okay cool awesome and you can rename the file all right cool you can choose to publish a soundcloud okay all right all right you know i'm used to that all right you could change the file that you want to export out all right i'm used to that you can also change the resolution 24 bit okay 16 all right those are the two most common for right now okay cool you can uh also you know it's basic things right here but when we get right here this is where things get kind of uh interesting because you can export a different range you can go between the loop you can also go between the start and end of a marker or you can export between each marker and this is one I like down here this is what I've been doing lately I'll go from start to end right now and I thought that was pretty cool you know in logic you just have to remember where where you want to start from and where you want to end and sometimes you don't catch it you don't you don't remember so oftentimes I have to actually I have to train myself to know okay start from one and then I have to oh 129 so I have to remember to set the parameters or I can set the end of the song inside of logic and just you know try to maximize all of the bars to get all the way to the end of the songs I'm telling you guys I've gotten songs from the beginning to like the middle of the song and send it to my client and like uh what happened to the rest of the song well this you don't have to think that hard you just set your markers your parameters and things like that and then it just bounce out at different forms that's something i thought that was really dope all right uh and, and and down here you have other options and i and i'm pretty much used to this import to track um bypass master effects okay yeah okay and this is new for us you know logic users real-time process I'm, okay i get that part so that there, there there's nothing you know too much about about that so that that's cool so i can go ahead and bounce this down to uh to my photo or, or whatever and uh it actually tells me it gives me different parameters and you know and if something is peaking oh my god i just thought that was dope if i have enough time on this video i can show you that i have bounced this session out no it will tell me that when i export the tracks if if i'm doing stem tracks that's what it was it'll let me know which tracks are peaking i thought that was pretty cool i'm not gonna go through with this here let's just let's just take it too long i don't <laughs> I don't want the video to be that to be, to be that long, but again, um, let's go back to the start. Uh, you can pull up another track while that's doing that, or, or, or whatever, or you can just go back to the song. Uh, but let, but let, let 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 me show you guys this. Let me show you guys this. Let's uh, let's export the mix down. All right. Okay. Not the mix down. Let's export the stems. Now, this is dope to me and this is this is the other end. <laughs> Logic Pro can do this. You just have to go to I believe file export all tracks. Uh, as audio all right and it export everything but what you have to do is 
you, you're thinking, say, say you got maybe five tracks you want to export. In my case, it's usually like 50, 75, you know, somewhere around there. And you're thinking, okay, I'm just going to mute those tracks that I don't want to export out. No, that's not how it works because it was still exported. If you if your channel is muted, it was still exported inside of Logic. What you have to do, the extra thing you have to do, you have to actually mute the region file itself. Then it won't go. You know what I'm saying? You have to actually mute the file itself instead of hitting. You know, mute is not the only thing that you know. But inside of here, you can click on which one you want to export. Which is pretty freaking dope. Tracks and channels. Now, I didn't, this is my first time hitting tracks. Again, like I said in my other videos, I'm not 100% sure as to how to work this program with everything that I'm finding out. So I may come across something and, and I'll amaze myself right here live on this video uh, that I think is cool. Um, so it gives you delays, it gives you, you know, those different channels that you bust to or send to, it gives you those tracks as well. To me, that's like the real deal. Like that's just how you do it. You know, you have all separate channel for, for the other things that you, that you bust to, you know, or send to or whatever. Um, that's cool. And then it's select the active. I'm guessing if I have something muted. It will just just give me the the one that's active. I have to test that. All right, moving forward. Again, all of these parameters are the, are the same. You can change, and um, that's cool. Import, blah 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 blah. Write the tempo on there, which is cool. Um, in in Logic, you can do that as well. Like you, you have uh, information within the wave, so when you pull it up. I can uh, import the the tempo of the song, which is which is dope, and I see that you can do that here as well, which is cool. All right, so that that's that to me, guys, is pretty cool. And I'm gonna pull up and see if I can pull up something. Okay, this is uh, one of the 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 stems that came out. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's the reverb. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But see, you, you can achieve this inside of Logic. It, it's just not available to you like this. Like when you export this out, like it's bam, like it's built to do this. You have to, you have to go extra steps to get, uh, I mean, you have to bounce down the reverb information in order to get to, you know, check the come out like this, which is which is pretty freaking dope. All right. I just thought that 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 was pretty cool. And then I, and then I say something else where you can export these tracks out with the with the artwork as well. I am not sure how to do that yet. But once I figure that out, I will come back to that topic and let you guys know how to do that. All right. So remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture.